Okay, welcome to the lesson about Kyorangi Bob, the fifth Hangi Do exercise. This one starts out as number one, but then we apply a lock where we flex the hand and rotate it inward. And the name Kyorangi Bob comes from Kyodarang Kibob. Uh, Kyodarang means armpit, so we're going to bend the fingers in the direction of our opponent's armpit. So let's have a look at the technique. So you can start it out the same way as number one. You're like this, step in, two. You're applying the same lock, but now I'm going to grab his fingers, turn it back, rotate here, and push him down. So let's have a close look at that lock. So, same lock as number one, two, grab around the fingers here, one, two, and go. So I make sure is that, so you're bending and rotating in this direction, but you're also rotating in that direction here. And then you take your opponent down, okay? So start out as number one, one, two, three, four, five, rotation, three steps now. Step one, step two, step three, over, step, and break the arm. One more time. So one, two, three, four, Five. Don't just put your opponent down. If you just put him straight down, he can regain his balance quite easily and maybe counter strike you. But if you take him forward here, you don't have that problem. One, two, three, and control. From the other side. One, two, three, four. Another finish off is to apply an elbow lock. Okay. Let's look at a few variations of the beginning. So, so far, we're doing one, two, push out. But you can also, with a little back step, first take him forward more, and then guide him through. One, continue. Or, one, two, Bring him up, one down, two, three. But when you bring him up, a common mistake is to get the hand under. Kind of feels good, but actually I'm blocking his motion. The same is true when I'm taking it low. If I do one, two here, now I'm actually blocking myself and my opponent. So in this case, your hand goes over. So also when you're Going high, here my hand is over, I'm not blocking my opponent. Then step down, one, two, and make the lock. So this is five with a few variations, and the same variations you can use for number one and three as well. Okay, in the next lesson, we're going to look at Mokama Bob, the sixth exercise. So looking forward to seeing you there.